Hello everybody, welcome to a tropical update here. This is what's currently going on right right now on uh, worldwide right now for the tropics. We've got three things to talk about. Tropical Cyclone 11P, also known as Kimi. We also got Tropical Cyclone 10S, also known as Joshua. And we also got Tropical Cyclone Eloise, um, also known as 12S, ongoing in the uh, Southern Hemisphere here. Summer, southern Hemisphere here. Um, here first is a look at Tropical Cyclone 11P, also known as Kimi, which is currently a 55 knot tropical storm, it's about 65 miles per hour, and forecast to peak as a 60 knot equivalent tropical storm, which is about 70 miles per hour, um, so that'll be a high-end tropical storm on the South Simpson scale. And the DTWC forecast to continue on its due south heading here and eventually take a southwest jog here and eventually make landfall there over Australia, it looks like on the 19th at around 12 UTC time give or take, um, at least on the JTWC side of things. Uh, there's a little bit of discrepancy between the two agencies, the Bureau of Meteorology, the Bureau of Meteorology and the JTWC. Um, there's a little bit of discrepancy between the two. The JTWC forecast, this forecast currently seen right now, and the Bureau of Meteorology forecast to continue going due south for about the next 12, 24 hours, and then take a southeast turn, and then eventually a northeast turn, and pretty much retrace its steps back up to when it first formed here as a weaker tropical cyclone. Um, so really interesting uh, kind of forecast ahead of this system. And, um, you know, regardless, though, uh, whatever the forecast track is, uh, the system is dumping, and... Uh, poised to dump even more uh, flash flooding and heavy rainfall um, along portions of the Australian coastline here, so please be aware of that and uh, listen to local officials for the latest information on the system and uh, places like the Bureau of Meteorology uh, for, I guess, the best information um, on this tropical cyclone over there in Australia, so just please be aware of that. Here's what the system looks like on uh, visible, not visible, uh, infrared imagery right here. And uh, not really the best looking tropical storm, but a tropical storm nonetheless there. And as at least you could see it there, uh, trying to kind of uh, maintain its convective uh, flare up there and convective activity there. So, um, yeah, um, here's what the system looks like on visible imagery right now. And uh, again, doesn't really look the best right now, but uh, again, a tropical storm nonetheless there. And then switching to um, tropical cyclone 10S, also known as Joshua. Currently a 40 knot tropical storm, it's about 40, 45 miles per hour. Forecast to stay out to sea and pretty much threaten nobody. And um, that's pretty much about it for the tropical cyclone. This is what the storm looks like on, on uh, visible imagery right now. And um, yeah, not really, not really too, uh, too picturesque there, but uh, again, a tropical storm there. And uh, not forecast to threaten anybody. And uh, really only be a threat for any kind of marine interests along the general area where this tropical cyclone is currently active and for the most part. And then here's a look at Tropical Cyclone 12S, also known as Eloise, which is currently a 45 knot tropical storm. It was about 50 miles per hour. And the DTWC forecast to peak as a 60 knot tropical storm. It's about uh, 70, 70 miles per hour. So again, it's a high end tropical storm. Right before landfall there over Madagascar. And um, as you can see there, they also forecast to come off of Madagascar and start to re-intensify uh, again as it enters the Mozambique Channel. So that last forecast point there, they have it as a 55 knot tropical storm. Um, looks like passing if, if this current forecast track holds here. Um, and again, it's just still up in the air if this current forecast track holds uh, just going south of uh, the city of Biera, uh, Mozambique over there. So um, again, uh, Really interesting forecast cone. And for those of you guys in Marissa's Law Reunion who are wondering about this tropical cyclone, uh, no, it is not going to make landfall over there, and it's not going to be much of a threat, if any, for you guys. Uh, the most I can see you guys getting from this tropical cyclone is probably some of the rip currents, uh, possibly associated with it along the coastline, um, and then maybe some uh, some of the high cirrus clouds um, and its far outer bands. But that's from this, pretty much about it in terms of effects that I see you guys getting. Uh, for this tropical cyclone, for any of you guys down there who are wondering, this is going to be mostly uh, Madagascar and Mozambique storm uh, what we're talking about here, not for you guys in the lower union and uh, Mauritius there, fortunately. Here's what the system looks like on water vapor imagery right now off of Mateosat 8. And you can see uh, the system is uh, consistently blowing up uh, convective, the convective uh, bursts there and uh, really sustaining itself. Uh, at least there um, on uh, water vapor imagery as it nears uh, landfall over Madagascar. So uh, really, again, another interesting uh, tropical cyclone down here in the southwest Indian Ocean. Here's what the system looks like on 
visible imagery here as the sun comes up over this part of the world. And they can see what appears to be a slightly sheared tropical cyclone here. And uh, keep in mind the system roughly has about 48 hours or so to intensify or at least maintain its intensity before making land for Madagascar here. So a lot can happen in uh, the next 48 hours. Hopefully nothing you know drastically bad happens, but you never know what these things. Um, so just be aware about it. And um, yeah, and I'll try to keep you guys uh, kind of up to date with the latest on uh, that tropical cyclone here as the situation uh, progresses, uh, but again, um, those of you guys in the Madagascar and Mozambique need to be keeping a close eye on the system here and follow your local officials for uh, the latest information on that tropical cyclone, and as well for those of you guys in Australia, keep a close eye on your local officials um, for that tropical cyclone in Australia named Kimi, um, just keep a close eye on it uh, over there. So uh, with that, that's pretty much going to be about it for this tropical update here. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section below and I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. Um, if you want to know what websites, if you want to know what websites and sites that are used to this tropical update, they're down in the description below. You can take a look at some of the links down there and it'll take you to some of the websites uh, that are used to this tropical update if you're curious on uh, seeing for yourself uh, some of the websites that I use. If you're just curious and uh, knowing and uh, looking at some of the sites that I use, they're down in the description below for uh, your own interest there. So uh, I guess basic summary, um, those of you guys in Australia, keep a close eye on Tropical Cyclone Kimi, um, likely to, to dump, uh, continue dumping heavy rainfall for portions of Australia and likely produce some uh, flash flooding too while it's at it. Um, and uh, listen to Bureau Meteorology for the latest information on that Tropical Cyclone. Um, and then for those of you guys down here in the Southwest Indian Ocean and uh, Mozambique and uh, especially Madagascar right now, uh, keep a close eye. Uh, tropical cyclone Eloise here as it continues on and uh, likely will gradually intensify up till landfall here in Madagascar and then also up till landfall perhaps in Mozambique later on down the line of some of the models are to be believed there. So uh, again, please keep it on us to those two tropical cyclones and uh, again, tropical cyclone Joshua is absolutely not up for anybody uh, fortunately at this point in time. So with that, that's about it for this tropical update here. Um, I apologize for kind of rambling nature on this, or if it was kind of hard to understand. It's a bit late here, so um, I'm kind of on a verge of sleeping here, so I apologize if I was kind of hard to understand in this tropical update. My apologies about that. So uh, that's about it for this tropical update here, and uh, yeah, hope everybody has a great day and night, where you guys are. Stay safe, of course. Until then, see you guys in the next video. Peace.